A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. Good morning, my dear brethren. As every morning, welcome. I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite songs. It is so that in some occasion I have put music to it, to this beautiful song, Psalm 121. A song that has been so much blessing and that has accompanied us during these years that we have walking with the Lord. Part of this song says the following. I will lift my, up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. How many Psalms we find in the Word of God that has been of so much blessing, and so much encouragement, of so much strength to our faith. But this, without a doubt, is a psalm that is very special, because here the psalmist expresses his total trust and dependence on God. The pilgrims, when they were going to Jerusalem from all over the world, they were singing along the way these psalms, these psalms that were sung in the temple, and these psalms that were a company and an encouragement to everyone that with their tithes and offerings travel long days, weeks maybe, to go to the temple in Jerusalem to offer their um, the Lord. There were many dangers along the way. People who dedicated themselves to uh, jumping the pilgrims knowing that they had their saddlebags full of money. But However, the psalmist, looking at those uh, terrible places, those rocky mountains full of caves where these thieves could hide themselves, they, he expresses his trust in the Lord, saying, My help will always come from the Lord. Although we walk through valleys of the shadow of death, dangerous valleys, the God that we have, the God that we honor and we serve will take care of us. He will protect us from all danger and from all evil. The way wasn't not good coming from the north or the south towards Jerusalem. It was a very difficult and long road full of dangers. But the psalmist expresses that the Lord will not sleep. The Lord will always be watching, attentive to the protection of his people. And that is the confidence that we are supposed to be living in these troubling times that we are having to live in. We always have to have is trust in our God. He doesn't fall asleep. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't get exhausted. Our God never abandons us. He will always be with us, even when sometimes we don't feel his presence, even when sometimes we feel alone. In the midst of that loneliness, he is present and he will always be by our side, taking care of us, less, whether we feel his presence or not, whether we are at an optimal level of faith or maybe spending low hours. Whatever the case, the company and the support of the Lord will always be with us. Don't doubt that. Doubt from anyone else, but never from God's faithfulness, because God, regardless of our state of mind, Independently of how we are, He will always be by our side. It is one of the precious, wonderful promises of Christ. And here I am with you always, even to the end of the age. It doesn't matter if you are currently in a prison serving time or in a center trying to rehabilitate you from the world of drugs, alone or accompanied, in a room alone in a hospital, or maybe going to work, or maybe you are already at work, it doesn't matter. The circumstances may be various and different, 
but our God is immutable. He has promised to be with us and He is with us. He has promised to defend us from our enemies, those we know and those we ignore, and He will do that. He has promised to be with us every day of our lives until the end of the world. We know that there is little time left so that all those final events are fulfilled that for years we have been studying and sharing with all of you. But it doesn't really matter because even if the oven gets really hot, even if the friends abandon, even if there is any misfortune around us, the hand of the Lord will always accompany us and protect us. Let's look at one time the people of Israel when he, they left Egypt until they reached the promised land, the year passed, many years passed. That generation that left with that expectation in the end ended up dying in the desert. But a new generation arose and managed to enter to the promised land of Joshua, previously crossing, as you know, the Jordan River. At any time, they lacked anything. They lacked no water. They didn't like any manna, any food. They always saw and experienced in their lives every day the presence of God. They failed God, yes. They worshiped whoever they didn't want to do that. We have to say that also. But the Lord always protected them and took care of them. And that promise that they will reach Cana to the promised land, the, the land that flows with milk and honey, finally was fulfilled. We also have to be, pil we also are like as pilgrims in this world. From the day we met Christ, we began an adventure of faith. And in this pilgrimage, He will accompany us and we will be able to reach the goal with His blessing and His help. In the meantime, we will go through difficulties and trials, whatever you may want. But the reality is that the Lord will never abandon us and He will always be with us. We present this day once again in prayer, trusting in Him and confessing our victory and in delighting in this reality that strengthens us. And the fact is that the presence of the Lord will always be with us. Father in heaven, thank you because we can start a new day with you. Thank you because your company will never be lacking from our lives. Your provision will always be by our side and we will see how our uh, food doesn't stumble or because you're going to sustain our lives. And strengthen our lives and our faith of your beloved church wherever there is a child of yours invoking your name. Bless him, talk to him, renew his strength that nobody will abandon the way and look back, but that we'll continue forward, walking and extending to what we have ahead. Thank you for this precious day of life. May we live it fully for you, enjoying at all times from our fellowship, our relationship with you. We put this day with thanksgiving in your hands, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. From the city of Milan, in the north of Italy, where we find at this time, I send greetings to you. May the Lord bless you, my dear and brethren. And always remember that promise of our God. Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. He is our support, He is our help, He is our sustainer, and with Him we have the victory guaranteed. May the Lord bless you this morning, my dear brethren.